So in part one of this video, I talked about the stereo configuration of these microphones and why I chose to do it that way for the NPR recording I did last week. And in part two, I wanted to talk about what it took to get it so you can hear it in this video so I didn't have to do any post-production adding and editing. So what I have here is the MixPre 3. I had to change the settings in this in system and then USB audio needed to be set to stereo out instead of normal. And so that allows the simplified signal to be output through the USB cable. The other cool thing about the MixPre is you can actually plug in like a regular charging cable for an iPhone, like a standard lightning to USB cable into this, and uh, it will work, but it does not output stereo. And I think that might be a limitation of that actual lightning cable but I'm not sure, but this is where that signal flow comes in. It's understanding how these cables that are more than just cables because they have little computer chips inside them uh, to try to manage what you're doing with the signal, what kind of signals coming in and out. Um, so understanding the signal flow of what kind of cable and understanding that the stereo signal was not working into the video when I plugged in just a regular lightning cable into that USB-A connector on the mix pre which normally works if you're just doing mono, but for stereo purposes, it did not. So what I had to do is use a camera adapter. And I have another one that's plugged in here that you can't see, <laughs> but this is basically what I'm plugged into here, the standard Apple USB camera adapter. And I had to use this C to A adapter so that I could use this nice anchor hub. Uh, and the reason I had to use this anchor hub and not some other anchor hub is that this allows power to be input from a laptop charger so that you when you have this plugged into your laptop it also charges your laptop well obviously we're not charging a laptop right now because we're using my phone but it this mix pre does require more power than most usb devices because it's providing phantom power to two microphones right now i can do up to three microphones on this and up to four microphones on the other mix pre six that i have and instead of using a laptop charging brick, I was able to use my power delivery USB-C power brick uh, and uh, use that in place of the wall charger for the laptop to provide power to both the hub and the Mix Pre. And the reason why I had to do that is because if I plug the Mix Pre straight in to just this dongle here into the phone, the phone cannot provide enough power to power this. And it recognizes that. It says, hey, this is a sound device, this is Mix Pre. And there is too much power that this thing needs, so I can't use this for the phone. And it tells you that on, when you plug it on the screen. Even when I used this cable that's an optional accessory where you have two USB-A connections, it, requ it requires so much power, you have to use two the power from two USB-A ports to combine to get the USB-C. So one of them is for power only, you can see it right there, and then the other one is for data, it says um, on the other side there. So I tried that, and even that plugged straight in with the power one plugged into like a wall charger. It gave power to the Mix Pre, but the phone still said, wait, this is a Mix Pre. I can't use that because it draws too much power and it's gonna drain the battery on the phone too fast. So the solution is to use a powered hub. That's what I got here. And this one, because it's USB-C powered hub, lets me use a power delivery device so I can get all this mounted like with Velcro or something and carry it around, strap it to my body and I can walk around with stereo microphones with a video and not just the recorder. Because if I was just doing audio like I did for the tape sync, I just plug the battery straight into the mix pre, but because I'm trying to do video and show you how these microphones work and go see that other video where I talk about these, here you should hear me in the left more and here you should hear me in the right mic more use headphones if you can't really hear the difference. <laughs> um, so pretty cool. And it took me some finagling to figure out, but my understanding of signal flow that is always growing allowed me to be able to find a solution to have the mix pre plugged in through the hub so that it's not recognized directly by the phone so that the phone says, nope, I can't use that. So the powered hub allows me to use my mix pre with the phone for this video. Pretty cool stuff.